All right, here are, am I on Jack Barnett 21's database dashboard. I'm going to close the dashboard, look at what I've done. I've got a student table. There's my student table. There's the design of it. OK, I'm not going to make any changes there. I can see the table set up again. There it is. Since we last spoke, these people have joined the Student Union. Thank you. Let's save that and close. Now, if I go to Forms, Databases are made of tables. Tables are made of records. Records are made of fields. So if I go into there, if I go into my database table, there are some records. But these records have been made up by individual fields. There's the field name. Databases are made of tables. Tables are made of records. Records are made of fields. Now, I've actually tried to maximize the use of things by making a dashboard. So from the dashboard I can go into the student form, look at the student form, which is the student table made into a way that I can add more data. And as I click through here, I can look at my various students' names and details or I can click on the close the form button and go back to here. OK. Now, if I go to close dashboard and go back to queries, then I can create a new query in design view. OK. I want to take the student table. I'm adding that. Closing that. And now, what I'm trying to do is to make sure that I can see all of my f all of my table. And now I want to add it to my query so that I can ask questions. Student number, family name, first name, address name, gender. Ignore photograph. Student union. All right, so I can run that. There it is. Looks much the same as a table. So now I want to ask questions. Let's ask questions about the family name. Let's put it in ascending order. And I've got that. OK. Let's go back. I could ask particular questions about who's in the family which family name starts with A. And I put A and then this star representing the rest of the family name. Anything that begins with A. So if I run that, you'll see Acton, Aglan, Agnes, Angel. Alright. If I go back to the design, I've got it in ascending order. OK. Now I might like to say, what was the gender of those? All right, so if I said, all right, well, give me the male. The male gender of those. If I run that, you'll see that out of those four, two were men. Well, obviously, two were women. But if I run it again, there you can see, two were men, two were women. Let's go back to design here. So you can see I can ask questions there. I could say, let's sort out who's in the student union. Well, one is in the student union, one isn't. OK. So if I go to here and put that, I didn't like that. Let's run that. OK. Let's go back into design. Take out that. This will give me my all of my students. I hoped. 
Ah, what it's done is to give me all of my female students. If I take out that and run it again, there you are. Let's do it by male. Run that, and we can see that. Now, one of the things that you you can see is that, that I've got two members of the student union here that are ticked. I should have gone for yes-no in things, then I could have sorted out by a, a yes. I can't see how I can put a tick there and get that. Let's say not sorted there. OK, I'm going to save this, and I'm go going to call this uh, query of the student gender gender there's only M if I close that now if I go back to my form dashboard go into design and then put a a new button on there I'm looking at miscellaneous because I'm running a query. On to next. Student, gender, there it is there. Now what I want to do is to make it so that I can query M students. Next and finish. You might have wondered what that last button was, the one that I ignored. This gives each one of these an order. When I mean an order, it'll say this is the first one, this is the second one, this is the third one, so that I could tab through these if I wanted to. Most of the time I don't want to be tabbing through my form, so I ignore it. But at some stage I might use it. OK, now if I go into my dashboard, I've put it onto the dashboard in design now if I go to it doesn't like that, what did it like? Query of student gender M, it didn't like my, my title there OK, this was stop, OK let's go back again to my queries and rename that query of of male students. Let's try that. Go back into the forms, run my dashboard. It still didn't like that. Query, I haven't got student M, I've got query of male students. Right, save that. Close that. Yes to there. I'll try once more. It didn't like that. The action or method requires a query name argument. Right. <sighs> Let's close that. Go back to queries. That was that, and that was that. So I was running that properly. Okay. So what I need to do is to go back to here, go into design, click onto this one and delete it, and then do another one. So if I come to here and say, "All right, give me that." that button again miscellaneous run query next query of male students next query male students next ignore that and finish resize the button there save it go to there run it again and there it is 
Right, so we've overcome the problem there, and you can see the difficulties that, that one comes up with. All right, I'm closing this, and I'm going to finish on what I was really trying to do, which was to, to create a new report. Go to New, use the report wizard. All right, why use the report wizard? Because it is an easy way of moving around a rather difficult process. Now, you must name what you're looking at. Query of male students. OK that. It's taking us into here. Now, in the query, I didn't include the photograph. I'm not going to be able to tell too much from photographs. So, include everything and on to next. Now it's saying, what grouping do you want? Well, what I want is gender. All right, on to next. It might be good to have the family name and on to next. I'll leave it as that. I quite like this, but these are so much confetti, how much you like the look of these things. Formal, casual. Let's go for casual and go to next. Important report of student gender male and finish. So there it is. I've gone for it from the the gender, so I've got all my students by gender, I've got them by family name, and then I've got their various details. Let's close that, close this, go back to forms, onto my dashboard, go into design, and I want one more button. I'll put it down there. Report Preview report, not print. Report of gender, yes, next. You want text. Report student genders male. Uh, student gender males. Next. Finish. Let's see if I can make the buttons look vaguely the same size. Now when I save that and go to here. Right, now, if I press that, it should take me into my report. Close that, save that, and there you are. I've gone through the whole process. Tables forms, queries, and finally reports. I could probably do better to move out, to move this one down to here. And then you can see the, for the process. Tables, forms, queries, reports. Save that, close that, and finish that. There's my report. 